A new study from University of Arizona researchers shows that ponderosa forests are struggling in the face of the southwest mega drought. As this drought continues, the new study highlights the importance of summer monsoon in keeping these trees alive. 13 News reporter Emily Miranda spoke with the lead researcher on the study to learn how these trees are being affected and the role monsoon plays. I'm told the ponderosa pine trees like the ones behind me are slowly dying because of the drought. The monsoon plays a key role in keeping them alive, but if the drought continues, it may not be enough. Forests that don't receive a lot of precipitation from the monsoon, they were doing okay. They were existing, they were fine, not too stressed. Now that we've got into this drought that is the most severe since 800 CE, it's been estimated, so 1,200 years plus some change, we're seeing that without the monsoon, these forests are really, really doing poorly. Brandon Strange, lead author of the study, says these trees are no strangers to droughts, but it has reached a level where it is harder for them to cope. It's still sucking a lot of water, more than they can really afford to lose because the atmosphere is so dry and it's so hot. It's so hot and so dry that despite their best efforts, they are not able to pinch that straw enough to limit how much water they're losing. That'll cause them to dry out and potentially, you know, die off. These trees rely on a good monsoon to survive, but if faced with a bad one like in 2020, it can be devastating. They bring precipitation and that lowers the kind of atmospheric demand for water. So they're not really filling the pool of the atmosphere, draining them of water. And so without the monsoon or without strong monsoons, we are going to see the impacts being really, really widespread for these forests. Strange also says if the drought continues, the monsoons may not be enough. The monsoons are currently keeping them at an okay level, but if the drought continues for a long time or if it intensifies, they could be kind of in the same boat as other forests where they'll start drying up and potentially heading towards mortality or dying off. And without these trees around, it can have a negative impact on the environment. And if they're not around to take that carbon dioxide up, our atmospheric CO2 is going to go up and up, which is just going to make it hotter and hotter on the surface. Strange also says without the shade these trees provide, it can mean less snowpack, which will have a devastating impact on the local ecosystem. Reporting from Mount Lemmon, Emily Miranda, 13 News.